it's Jasmine. So today I'm going to bring you guys an exciting video because I am going to be talking about glasses. I have been struggling with vision since I was in third grade and I have gone through so many freaking pairs of glasses throughout my entire life. Now, I have gone through so many shapes sizes and you know out of all of my years and all of my frames I genuinely feel like if you love a frame and even though there are charts online and people saying well just because you have one face shape you can't wear this type of glasses if you love a certain type of style on you then you rock it you wear it. there's been too many times in my life where people have just been so ruthless and rude to me because of my glasses which doesn't make sense because they didn't pay for it. So in today's video, I partnered up with zlil.com to show you guys five different pairs of glasses. So I'm super excited to give you guys the tea on all these glasses because I've been wearing all of them for a pretty long time. I haven't been active on social media lately, but I do have some pictures on my phone that I want to show you guys uh, just in case you needed any picture references or anything like that. First things first though, I need to take out my contacts so I don't ruin my vision and so I could try on everything comfortably. Currently, these are the glasses that I am wearing. I got these ones off of firmu.com and I don't want to bash any companies or brands, but I do actually want to tell you guys the difference in the quality of the glasses just so you guys can understand because I understand that we are all consumers and we're all trying to get glasses at an affordable price because glasses can get expensive okay they can get so so pricey so these are the glasses that I currently have they are kind of an aviator but also a round type of glasses I don't really know the specific term but they also have a little cat eye to it I don't know I kind of like this style because it's effortless it's effortless it goes with everything because it's clear it goes with this jacket that I thrifted and it's just one of those basic pairs of glasses that I feel like looks good on everyone but the con about this and the con about firm glasses that I've experienced because I've been wearing their glasses for nearly two years is that although it's really really cheap and sometimes their glasses go on sale for as low as five dollars you kind of get what you pay for. Yes, you are still able to see crystal clear out of the lenses, but I'm talking about the frames. The frames, they just feel so weak and they don't really last. And I also have another firm move pair that I have. Um, they come in these little cases here and I got slapped in the face in these ones and ever since then I could not fix these these are so so crooked I tried my best to like uncrook them but it's impossible so I just feel like at some point you know you do get what you pay for in some of these online glasses companies so if you are kind of diligent with being careful with your items then definitely you know go for something a little bit more cheaper if you know that you're gonna take care of your glasses but if you know you're clumsy I know that I'm clumsy sometimes I sit on my glasses sometimes you know they fall off my desk and you know you never know so I actually would prefer something with a little bit more quality if I drop it I don't want to scream and be like I just broke my glasses I don't want to get slapped in the face and make that game over for my glasses either so you know I I just wanted to make that clear you know I still think firm is a great company but I just think that I would rather get something that's still affordable but that will still give me the quality that I need the reason why I chose these glasses in particular was because I kind of wanted to make my face look a little softer so I wanted it to look a little bit more round than it obviously is so my face is kind of a hybrid between an oval shape and a heart shape because if I go like this I you know I have a jawline but when I look straight forward it kind of just is a soft curve on my chin so I wanted to make my face look a little softer so when I am looking for glasses I always look for something with a bottom curve um, ovals circles this type of style um, will always give you that illusion that your face is curving with the glasses 
There are some instances where I just want to wear some big glasses. Maybe I just want to hide behind them. Maybe I want my glasses to be the statement. So when I was in high school and even since I was in third grade, my parents always went to Lens Crafters or they went to Costco for my glasses. Now, when I pick out big glasses like these, these ones are from Costco. So as you can see, this kind of widens out my face. And although these are really, really cool, sometimes they're not ideal for every day I want to say because I bought these ones because I could just wear them every day but since these ones are just so huge sometimes I don't want the illusion that my face is wider than it actually is and so when I look for bigger glasses like these now I do have another pair that I would like to compare this to from Zilul so this one is the one that I'm talking about from Zilul these ones are called the a Lick square black glasses they also have one in navy um, this one's gonna retail you for $31 such a good steal. Hi. Same price as I paid for the Fermu glasses, by the way. These ones are what I'm talking about where it is big, but it's not too big to the point where it's going to add any drastic illusion to my face. It's not going to make me look whiter. It's not going to make me look smaller. It's just on my face. And what I like about these is that these kind of remind me of the glasses that I've always wanted. And those are another glasses that I got from Costco, which story time i bought these glasses from costco while well, my dad did and the lady was tightening the legs of the glasses and she completely broke it off and she said oh i'll just send it back to the company and you know we'll get you a fresh new pair turns out i didn't get a fresh new pair and that they just screwed the leg back on but the joint was never fixed and throughout my entire sophomore year of high school, I barely wanted to wear these glasses because at the end of the day, if I looked down, they would just fall off my face because they would just continue to just get wider and wider and they wouldn't stay at one specific spot, which was super annoying. So these are the glasses that I had my sophomore year of high school and these are the ones that I have now. I've always wanted some thick black framed glasses because I don't know, I'm still probably in that middle school phase where everyone just popped out the 3D lens out of 3D glasses from the movie theaters. But that aside, in general, when I am looking for glasses, I always want glasses with the little nose pads here because since I do wear makeup or sometimes, you know, I, I don't wear makeup and I do want to wear glasses, these stay on the nose and they don't slip off. This one right here just has the plastic and there's no rubber nose pad to grasp onto your nose. So these ones would just slide down all the time. And I just wanted to avoid that at all costs. So if you have an oily nose or if you just want your glasses to stay on the face, and this is definitely the pair. And I think the only con about these glasses in particular is that they're a little heavy, um, partly because it is a big frame and you know, you get a lot, you get a lot here. Um, but other than that, it's nothing where I feel like, oh my god, I have to take these off, it's giving me a headache. I'm just saying that out of all of the glasses that I've tried, this one just feels a little bit more on the heftier side, but it's nothing to the point where it's going to give me a headache at all. Just like my Fermu glasses, I wanted something that was a little bit more on the clear side, not as loud, something that is just a piece of glass over my face so that I could see. You know what I mean? So I have the Edwin Rectangular Gold Glasses and these ones are $45. So a little bit more on the expensive side. I think this is the most expensive glasses that they have. One of the most expensive. So not that bad considering the style. Now I have had this type of style before. I've had this style in middle school. We will open this up. This kind of scares me because when my mom picked out these glasses for me, my mom said, Jasmine, you look like Sarah Palin. And I said, Sarah's Miss Palin? I don't want to look like her. So these are the glasses that I had a lot more rectangular and a lot more small because I was a smaller gal in middle school. But these are a half frame type of glasses, kind of like the ones that I'm wearing here. So you can see that it does have its similarities. I wanted something a little bit more grown up, which is why I got something a little bit more um, wider in the vertical department. So that is going to allow a little bit more surface area to be covered along my face so that I don't look like a founding father. And I, I tell my friends this, my mom was really trying to make me look like a founding father in these glasses. And I, 
it's a problem. It's really a problem. I, I look at these and I'm like, what even went on? Like, what's going on? What's happening? I don't like these. So, you know, to avoid the founding father look, you want to cover more surface area, in my opinion. So, uh, we, are, we are back. I'm 21 now. We're not in middle school. I'm in college. Thank you so much. This is literally a frame that will go with everyone's look. Like, whether you just want, you know, something quick, easy, get out the door, you wanted something for school, or anything like that. This is just something to, ni to just nicely slap on and to just go on with your day. <laughs> Now I know I went on a tangent about looking like a founding father, but I had to get these ones because I felt like these could have been a thing if I was going for like a early 2000s in sync Backstreet Boys aesthetic because honestly, I think that this is a look a little bit more rectangular, a little bit more on the lines of the Sarah Palin glasses, you know what I mean? But these ones have no frame at all. Instead, they just have the two gold uh, legs right here that just go all the way back to hook onto the ears. Now these do not have any joints, meaning that when you bend these, they won't stay down. They will continue to be like this. These are a little bit more on the flimsy side, but I think these are more so like a accessory glass rather than a actual take me seriously type of glass. But honestly, I could just wear this at school and like mind my own business because like you should mind your own business. <laughs> But if I tilt my face down like this and I look at you guys, you guys cannot really see the glasses. And that's kind of what I really like too because when I'm wearing glasses sometimes I don't really want anyone to really pay attention to my glasses. Sometimes I just want to leave the house and, you know, just have something very low maintenance. So that's the reason why I got a clear lens in the Fermi ones because I just, I just didn't want that maintenance. I didn't want to have to match any outfits with a certain type of glass. I didn't want to have a certain aesthetic to my glass that I had to style with. But I mean, this, uh, it still gives me that early 2000s aesthetic, but I mean, I could just wear this whatever and wherever. Also, it is said that if you have a round face, you should get more rectangular or square type glasses because it will suit you, it will kind of counteract the roundness. And then if you have a square shaped face, you should get round glasses. But if you have a square shaped face and you want to get some square glasses, get it girl! Like, who, who's out here to judge you? Everyone should be minding their business, like I said, and you should be rocking anything that you like because you like it. This is your life, this is your narrative, this is your story, so if you like something, go for it! And before I show you guys the next pair of glasses, this one is called the Skylar Rectangular Titanium Glasses, and this one's going to retail you for $31, so it's pretty cute, I mean, it, look, come on, like I'm backing up here, it still looks good, it's still, still amazing, love her. Now, I do love round glasses, like I said earlier on in this video, which is the reason why I chose the Fermi ones. I keep referring back to them because it's my current pair, but I wanted something that was a little bit more, I guess, dramatic than that, and I wanted something that will kind of hide my face, but also add attention to it, if I want to say that. So I got these ones, and these ones are definitely a little bit more modern. These ones are definitely in style right now, I feel like. So these ones are called the Dolores Round Turtis Glasses, and these ones are going to retail you for $32. They do have a mustard yellow shade, which is what I'm looking at right now, and I also see that on their website, if you've never ordered from the Zilu website, then you can get $5 off your first order, which I think is a steal. And I also want to mention that in all five of these glasses, I do have a blue light filter in them, so that just means that if you're in front of a screen, television, your phone, your computer for long periods of time, this will help reduce the eye strain. I did talk to my optometrist about it because I did go, I did see him like two weeks ago, so um, he he did approve, and he said that. You know, some people either love it, some people don't see a huge difference, it's up to you, but because I'm always in front of a screen, I do sometimes feel like an eye strain. I always catch myself going like this. And so I decided to get all of the glasses in a blue light filter so I could just, you know, try and reduce that and, you know, try and live my best life while I'm young, you know what I mean? 
Now when I was choosing this pair of glasses, I really wanted something a little bit different. Now this style is not really different to me, but I've never had a brown pair of glasses. And I remember my cousin Olivia actually owning a brown pair of glasses and I thought about it and I said, you know what, maybe that's an interesting concept. So I decided to go in with a tortoise frame on my glasses and I think I really like it because I do have more of like a medium skin tone and I just feel like it complements everything and plus I always wear a nude lip. So just everything in total I think just rounds out together and it just looks really really good so if you are anyone like me and you're picking out glasses for yourself and you're wanting some round glasses try and find round glasses that actually go with your face so this pair of glasses is parallel with my face shape so as you can see when my face is outlined like this my glasses go within the outline area and it's able to you know not look too bulky and not look too in your face and bold it kind of just goes on my face you know what i mean so that's pretty good and if you are curious about ever trying on online glasses zulu does have this little button on the top of every single pair of glasses it literally says try on and you upload a photo that is just straight faced like this straight at the camera and you're able to try on the glasses and I think it's a really good indicator to see what it will kind of look like and there are also reviews on the website and for the, some of the glasses of people who have purchased it in the past and you know seeing it what it looks like on them and it actually really does help so I'm glad that this turned out as nicely as I hoped and I haven't worn these ones out side yet. Yeah, I think this is the only pair that I haven't worn outside yet, but I have been wearing these inside and so far so good. They haven't really been slipping off my face. And that's another thing because on Firmu and at Costco and at Lens Crafters, whenever I got the fresh pair of glasses, the legs were always out of whack. The, the nose pads were never ever fitting my nose, but all, all of these, they all were nice they were all straight they they came in perfectly and the nose pads were not uneven one wasn't higher than the other so I could definitely tell that somebody was on the other side who was actually taking time to really manufacture these really nice and to make sure that it's not uneven when you try it on so I haven't gone out to like Costco or lens crafters and being like hey can you fit these to my face? And more often than not, you can do it for free, by the way. And more often than not, they say, well, I'm not reliable if it breaks. And so it's nice to know that it's already fitted and it's just like, it's just ready. It's just ready to be worn that day. So I really enjoy these ones. And now let's go into the last pair. I think out of all these glasses, this is my most worn, definitely inside the house and outside the house. I love these ones so much. So these ones are the Alfred Cat Eye Black Glasses. They also have one in a mauve color. And these ones are $25 on sale. Um, original price is $28. Uh, these ones are my actual dream. I've always wanted cat-eyed glasses, but whenever I went inside of a store, whenever I tried it on, it never looked good because the bottom was always too rounded and it was just too accentuated at the top and I just felt like on me it just ate my face like it just was not working out and so these ones they have more of like a square shape I'm sorry about the lighting I'm trying to make sure that there's not a glare so I have the blinds down um, but you guys can definitely see what I'm talking about it's more of like a square shape um, but also round and then also cat eye mix all in one and so I just feel like all together it looks cohesive and it actually looks like a wearable cat eye frame without being too over the top and still still wearable like honestly like still in the category of low maintenance and like I said I've been wearing this one the most it's definitely one of my favorites and ah oh, it's just comfortable it's nice it just you look good like you look smart when you have your good eyebrows on it's like All right, everyone, that wraps up this video. Hope you guys all enjoy. I want to say a huge thank you to zlul.com for partnering with me in this video and sending me these glasses because honestly, I needed a new pair. Girl, like, you guys don't even know I needed a new pair. And I'm so glad that now I have five and I have options to choose from. 
And I'm actually excited to share them with you guys because they're affordable. So I hope you guys all enjoy and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Peace out Girl Scouts! Thank you.